All right, it's time for Team World well, Team Battle Platinum Fiddlesticks. Surprisingly, I don't have many ranked which one games of him uploaded, which is a little unnerving because he's like my go-to, which to uh, AP jungler though. Right now, Gragas is my like prime go-to AP jungler. Either way, my opponents, uh, they locked in Lucian, Kao, and Maokai, and I actually responded with Fiddlesticks. Now, you guys, ever, if you guys remember, I will mention stuff like Maokai's uh, the anti-AoE, anti-magic kind of tank, so why would you pick uh, Fiddlesticks into him? Well, because he's still pretty reliant on, you know, casting his abilities, and by the way, he's stealing my red right now, which is of no consequence because it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, to fiddlesticks. I don't need blue, uh, red to do, you know, ganks. Anyways, uh, fiddlesticks destroys combo casters. We know that. I've explained it. He's good against Kale in the way that he can lock her down before she gets to use her ultimate, but only before she uses her ultimate, like, you know, actually uses the damn thing. So, if when, and during fights, if I get on top of her and I fear her and then use silence on her, that will be good enough and she won't, you know, survive long enough to make an impact. Same thing with Maokai, really. Like, right here, you see, he got silenced. He got silenced, and he couldn't use a snare, so he was pretty much worthless. Like, he wanted to snare me and maybe do a lot of damage or kill me before I got to my tower. But no. Uh, I picked Fiddlesticks, really, just to deal, to sort of deal with them. And I figured, you know, if they locked in Lucian, Lucian, Kale, and Maokai, they could still have a jungle pick that could, you know, be aggressive against me, but I, I didn't think it was going to come. Um... I figured I'd be safe picking fiddlesticks, and we could use some awesome ass damage. Now you get, you can see the early game; it's kind of back and forth already. My bottom lane though is has a uh, BF sword already. The enemy, my mid laner is feeding though, so there's there's that. There's a balance of power. By the way, you saw me. If you saw my build right now, I went boots of mobility before I even got spirit stone or I upgraded my app tome. This is a common gamble some players will do, where, you know, yeah, I didn't get a gank early, I didn't get an extra injection of gold, so I'm going to use Boots of Mobility. They do this because they're close to reaching level 6, and they're going to get, like, a huge, huge ganking tool. And in mine is my ultimate. So, Boots of Mobility uh, was purchased because I was close to getting level 6, and uh, I needed to be in a position to use my ultimate right away. By getting a kill on the Lucian, well, get, actually getting two kills here, we killed the Karma too. Getting those two kills, it made the Boots of Mobility completely worth it. By the way, look at this, what I do. I was mentioning this on stream. I am trying to get let my Alistair and Corky player teammate run away. So here I sit draining on the Kale till I die. I knew I had no chance of escaping. The idea here was if I kept running alongside the Alistair, uh, the Kale would have caught me, or or him, killed him, and then killed the other one. So, like, at least this way only one of us dies. And the Corky, of course, gets to go go off free, because she, if she ignored me, she just would have died herself. So here, I kill Teemo, and I know where his mushrooms are, because I, I saw them where they were placed. So I purposely, I'm going to run into the third bush, well, uh, the first bush to his side, pop it, then run through the river to pop another one, and I put that ward there. The Teemo laughs at the ward, but the ward is there, placed there for a good reason. It's to see if he actually shows up in lane. Why? Because my ultimate is back up, and I want to murder his ass. So when he finally shows up in lane, I'm like, oh, okay, he's not dicking around, so... Go back into the bushes, and I wait for him to get a little closer to, you know, to the range of my ultimate. He does, because he wants to get some CS and try to harass the lot. And as soon as he gets close enough, pop in, fear him, and drain him to death. So, he can laugh at that ward all he wants, but that was placed just so I wouldn't waste any time. Because one thing about Fiddlesticks, is, especially if you do the Boots of Mobility Gamble, is you gotta make use of it immediately or else you fucked yourself. Because, uh, and you'll notice this, um... Um, uh, Fiddlesticks is one of those types of champions, and are, and this also affects a lot of AP champions, that they tend to scale down in the jungle unless you feed into their power. My clearing speed is great right now because I've been feeding into it. My I have Spirit of the uh, Spectral Wraith, I have some Amp Tome into it, and I have multiple points into Drain. Some players will put Drain into 3 and then max out Fear. But in this case, I'm maxing out Drain for the damage and the clearing speed because it seems like this is a very mobile game. The enemy is taking the initiative and going through, you know, dragons, going through, actually trying to gank people. So I need to keep up with the speed as well. Nonetheless, 
like my mid laner is feeding like crazy and can I, look this is actually important i'm, I'm gonna uh, interrupt myself going on top with the uh, ultimate on kale and i don't use my drain immediately i put myself as far as i can go before she's finally able to use her abilities and mobility and drain her from there because if i ulted and then just drained her well for starters i wouldn't know if she actually had summoner spells to escape or whatever but by ulting on her and then just uh, just draining her, she might have gotten away in that last sliver of health. Instead, I made sure my ultimate kind of uh, engulfed her, and I tried to get uh, and I tried to you know put my body up against her, and no sexual innuendo there, and then start draining instead of draining immediately from where I was positioned. So while she was running around silenced and feared, you know, I I moved myself closer. That's kind of a thing you have to do with fiddlesticks. Here, kind of the same thing. My my cooldown on my drain is low enough that I can interrupt it pretty much whenever I want after like two two seconds of it. I wanted to get away from Malkai because if he CC'd me, I may have not been able to kill the Kale. She would have probably made some distance between us. Nonetheless, uh, the Fiddlesticks is a, was a real, has uh, been showing to be a really good pick in this game. Similarly, because the enemy team has no response to my, like, just da the damage I'm dealing, and they're not putting up any sort of map control. So they pretty much are getting wasted. Like, I don't have a lot, tons of kills. I have four kills, which is fine enough. But I'm, I'm getting my teammates fed. The Corky is huge, and the Vladimir, he's, he's going to be my go-to dude here. That, fun fact, Fiddlesticks crushes Vladimir in lane. But when you put them together, they're really strong. So that's kind of a cool team comp right there. Here, I don't know what the Ari was doing, so I rushed to try to help her. Because, you know, maybe my Dark Wind would have crushed them. I die, but, you know, it turns out to be fine. Because my team, because Vladimir showed up and my bottom lane teammates decided to, you know, not to go home. And just come back in and do some damage. So we were able to get two kills for my sacrifice. It's fine. Nonetheless... Fiddlesticks, uh, some players go, why don't you always pick him? It's because he's one of those champions that can carry a lot, but some matchups are just a dick to him. Like, um, by the way, here's where I mentioned that if I, if I can't silence or I can't fear Kale, the bit where the second I get my ultimate on top of her, she's going to destroy me. Rewatch that scene again and notice the set when I use my ultimate on top of her, I lost light of sight of her in the fucking bush. When that happened on stream, I was mad. I was like, this is stupid. That one little, that one little second of lost sight uh, made it hard for me to target her, and she was able to pop her ultimate and survive it. I probably would have still died, but I, I was hoping to get the kill on her. Now here we just bum rush the Karma and the Lucian, because in comes Alistair to do some damage. In with his headbutt and his Q, and then you know the Dark Wind still bounces through the corpse of Karma, which is kind of amusing to me. Nonetheless, we have gained pretty much full control of bottom lane. Bottom lane has been subjugated. They're doomed. Uh, here comes Kale for whatever reason, but just watch this. It, it was hilarious. Like, I don't know what the hell she was thinking. The second I get in the bush, I ult back in just so she wouldn't target me or even see me. She dies pretty much immediately and Lucian follows. And then you can notice in the minimap, Teemo goes stealth in that little in that little wall separation, whatever. So we're kind of just waiting for him to pop out. I fear him, I go into my hourglass, and Ari and Alistair just beat his ass to death. So, yeah, I don't know what he was fucking thinking too. He wanted a cheap kill on the fiddlesticks. I don't even know if I have a bounty on my head because I've died like every, every two kills I've gotten. So, bottom lane taking control of, and we got more kills onto our Corky, and he's big, and our Vladimir is just dominating top lane. Like the, 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 you know, the enemy team comp, they have some strong champions, yeah, Maokai, and Kale, and Lucian, but the thing is, the combination of them isn't very good, especially against my combination. Uh, some people will say, lol, Vladimir is not that strong, yeah, he's not currently that strong. Uh, but with co in combination with the other AOE massacre monsters like Corky and uh, Fiddlesticks, he's pretty fucking strong. Especially if your opponents are all caster type champions, which your uh, troll pool can you know just insult and laugh at. Here, this is just uh, very, too ambitious in my part. I went in. Alistair kind of took a little while to respond, but I. And, but I really shouldn't have gone in. I thought maybe I'd kill one of them ridiculously fast and then I get away. And Yari's there for some fucking reason and she kind of gets, you know, chased by the Maokai. I put myself in between them. Well, I go back and then go back in just to see if I can, you know, do some damage. But it doesn't amount to much. I, I get myself killed. So we trade two for one. I was a terrible initiation on my part. Anyways, on to Fiddlesticks. Uh, I... 
I like Fiddlesticks. Like I said, he's one of my favorite AP junglers, and I would try to use him if there's a good uh, spot to use him. Because a he's a one of the few AP junglers that can actually, you know, carry and make sense in the jungle. And doesn't really have a hard time compared to a, what a lot of people, you know, would assume. Oh, he gets invaded. He's relying on his blue. Yeah, he is. A lot of champions are. But, you know, Fiddlesticks, his his his, big, his weaknesses aren't exactly the jungle. His drain is pretty stupid. It's, you know, the kind of the matchups. You don't want to pick him into someone like, you know, Lee Sin. Because, yeah, he'll get invaded. But mostly because he'll get knocked about in team fights. Or Janna or stupid shit like that. And the other thing is, the kind of Fiddlesticks has really bad itemization from the jungle. That's probably one of the one of the th things a lot of people don't realize with Fiddlesticks. His itemization is bad. I mean, Hourglass, it kind of, that's kind of like his best item, honestly, because it, it guarantees your ultimate doesn't get, you know, shafted. But Spirit of the Spectral Wraith, yeah, the AP is nice, but you don't need the sustain on it. Or the Spell Vamp or any of that crap. You got your drain already. Uh, uh, all the other items, they're pretty damn expensive, you're not gonna get that unless you kill everything. There's no uh, AP item that Fiddlesticks can use that gives you mobility. Lich Bean is crap on him. It's kinda like, there's not that many items. I mean, Twin Shadows is one I thought about using for him, but... I get like uh, I have to prioritize a uh, uh, spirit item, and I have to prioritize Hourglass, especially in this game, and then Abyssal Scepter would be really, really nice with Vladimir and me. I know I'm not commenting on the game, but you can see the enemy team is kind of pretty much getting destroyed. About about most games I play Fiddlesticks, I go Hourglass. That's 100% the item. Sometimes I'll go Spectral Wraith, and sometimes Spirit of the Ancient Golem. And I'll, some will go Stonewall. Why Spirit of the Ancient Golem? That's because I go utility-focused Fiddlesticks, where I will get cooldown reduction from Spirit of the Ancient Golem, Maybe Spirit Visage if they have a lot of magic magic dudes, but some, most of the time sp uh, Boots of Lucidity to get the cooldown reduction, and get 40% cooldown reduction as quick as I can, and only get Drain 3 for the, uh, for the speed and stuff, and then max out my Sphere, and then max out Dark Wind. Again, my whole purpose as the utility fiddlesticks is pretty much just to spam Fear and Dark Wind, Silence and Fear, and it's really that's actually really strong against combo casters. Because, uh, Fiddlesticks, you'll probably still die really quickly regardless of how tanky you are, but you'll, you're pretty, you get a lot of aggro really quickly, and just being annoying with Dark Wind and Fears is kind of enough to win some fights. I mean, let's see, if you, if your opponents were Katarina, let's see, Katarina, Brand and stuff, your, uh, Fiddlesticks will just destroy them. Oh, Dark Wind will destroy Katarina alone. Uh, when she's with a bunch of people, at least. I know, I kind of rambled there. So my point is, tank fiddlesticks is a viable build with cooldown reduction, and some people have questioned me when I've done it, why would you do that? I'm like, fear is already a stupid ability, and dark wind is already a dumb ability. Imagine having that at 5 second cooldown, that's pretty stupid. AP is the, the most popular one, of course, because you got a shitload of damage, but the problem with that one is, if you don't get a lot of gold, your damage is going to trail off real quickly. Of course... There's one thing I, I forgot to mention while, during this game, and I kept mentioning it on my stream, though. I had to, I rushed so much to try to get my milestone levels on Fiddlesticks. By the way, there, I forgot I had already used Flash, so I just kind of ran into the wall and died. Uh, one of the things for AP junglers is that they have to get ranks up on their abilities. They cannot be underleveled or else they're going to do no damage because they don't have the proper items to, you know, make up for that. So... If, as Fiddlesticks, if you're building them AP, or worse, if you're building them tank, and you don't have rank 2 on your ultimate when everybody is level 11, then you're not going to do any damage. And if, then if everybody's starting to get, you know, their final builds and stuff, and you still don't have rank 3 on your ultimate, damn, you're going to be pretty much useless. It, it kind of, that's kind of sucks for Fiddlesticks, for the most part. I mean... If you're support Fiddlesticks, it's fine, because no one's expecting you to do too much damage anyways. But as a jungle, it's a hindrance, so... If you want to play jungle fiddlesticks, make sure the following. One, you build appropriately to the towards the enemy team. Like your first build is got a your first item has to be a respondent item to them. Like hourglass, if they're gonna CC you or knock you about during fights, or uh, a straight out damage if you can like one shot them with your ultimate and shit like that, or go cooldown reduction if you're expected to stop all these cooldown uh, cooldown reliant champions like Brand and Katarina and stuff. Anyways, hooray for fiddlesticks! I'm sorry I kind of devolved into rant halfway through the video. Hooray!